How did you convince your wife? Like, hey, <laughs> hey, we need a we need a Santa Maria grill in the backyard. <laughs> what what did you say? Hey, like they say, it's better to ask for forgiveness and for permission. <laughs> What's up everybody? We're here today with Ivan323. Ivan, what is this? Santa Maria Grill, Red Beard Smokers, gives you all the cooking area you need. You can raise it, you can lower it, you can cook with any type of wood you'd like. So if I was having a party, right, for 50 people after COVID, of course, <laughs> and I brought out my Weber, what's gonna happen to the people? Oh, they're going to starve. They're going to starve. You're going to feed uh, a few people at a time. Uh, by the time your chicken's done, your meat's done, you're going to have to take that off and start all over. This one, you're going to be able to cook everything all at once. You're going to be able to feed everybody all at once. Ivan, does this thing belong in a backyard or is it more like a commercial type of thing? Once you get one of these, you're going to want to replace everything else. This is going to be your one and only grill. You know, on my Weber, on my smoker, you know, I can put the lid on and I can put some, you know, wood in there and like do a long cook with some smoke, right? This, you can't. Tell us how the flavor of the meat, like what, how does it absorb and compared to like a smoker? Right now I have mesquite wood um, and you can put any type of wood and it's gonna flavor your meat. It is hot and fast grilling. You're not gonna do them long hour smokes. So this is the way to go if you're gonna feed a lot of people in a short amount of time. Obviously your heat is at the bottom, so if it's starting to get too hot, I can always raise the grate to raise it away from the heat. Or if it's getting a little too cool and I want it to cook a little faster, I could always lower it down right to the, right to the mesquite. How does the orange in uh, the Santa Maria grill? Um, obviously Santa Maria, Santa Maria, California, um, that's where they make uh, the tri-tip over red oaks. All right, Ivan, tell us what you made here. What's this delicious meal that I have in front of me? Uh, this is a taco azteca. Pretty much it's a cactus paddle for a tortilla. You got some carne asada, some chorizo, uh, cilantro cebolla, a little bit of salsa, aguacate, a little bit of lime juice. So pretty much what we did is what you did was replace the tortilla with the nopal. Yes. So I'm gonna try to take a bite out of this taco here. Bomb. <laughs> and, and it's keto friendly. Yep. No carbs to this stuff. A nopal, some carne asada, some chorizo, some avocado. All protein, baby. 